Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a recent favorites. It's been a hot minute since I've done a favorites video, so I thought I would sit down with you guys today and share with you all of the products that I've been loving recently. So without any further ado, let's just jump right into it. The first product that I've been absolutely loving recently is my Jaclyn Hill palette by Morphe. I have been using this non-stop since I got it and I am absolutely in love with it. It's so nice. The color pigmentation of this palette is amazing. It blends out really nice. I'm really impressed with it. I like this one a ton more than her original palette she did with Morphe. That one I actually don't even really use anymore. But this one I use like every single day. You can do so many eye looks with it. I really love these shimmers right here and the mattes up here are my absolute favorite. I really love the warm tones because that's normally what I gravitate towards and I think she just did a really good job with this palette. The one thing I don't like is obviously the white packaging you can see has gotten very dirty but it is a nice little magnetic close on it so it does stay nice and together. But besides the white packaging, I think it does look really pretty, but it's just not really practical for a makeup palette. You're going to get it dirty, but overall, I absolutely love this palette. It's kind of turned into my go-to. I've been grabbing for this palette way more than any other palette I have right now, and I just really love it. So that is the first thing I've been loving. The next two products that I'm going to share with you are also in collaboration with beauty vloggers. And the first one is the Desi X Katie collection with Dose of Colors. First of all, this packaging is so pretty. I absolutely love it. It's so sparkly and girly, and it's really compact. It has a magnetic close. I really am a huge fan for packaging, so I think they did a beautiful job with this. And then it says Dose of Colors on the front. And then you open it up, and you have four eyeshadow colors and these are made specifically for like super bomb lid colors which I think is a really cool idea because they mentioned in like a video that they were talking about how they were creating their collab like everybody kind of has their go-to like transition shades or mattes that they like to use throughout the eyes or outer corners but like it's always a struggle to get a really awesome like lid shade and I think they nailed it with this palette. I absolutely love all four shades. My favorite is probably, it's between Harpoon and Turbosan, these bottom two colors. They're both super cool. All four of them are super amazing. Two of them are made to be used wet and then two are just like normal eyeshadows you can use dry. But they're super cool, super pigmented sparkly. They're just super bomb colors for your lid. I absolutely love them. If I want sparkle, if I want like drama, if I want something just to like stand out a little more on my eyes, these are the colors I've been going for. They're just so beautiful. I don't have anything like them in my collection, so I'm super happy I picked this up. I think they did a wonderful job with the colors. The other thing that I got from their collab was this highlighter in the color Fuego, and I was a little nervous about buying it because highlighters are kind of tricky on me, I feel, because I have such fair skin that it's hard to find the right shade of highlighter where when you're looking forward, it doesn't look like that cast when it's too dark. And this one kind of looked dark online, but this was the lighter of the two that they came out with. And this is the one that Katie kept kind of modeling and it really won me over. It's actually what I'm wearing on my cheeks today and I think it's so beautiful. It just gives that really nice glow with still being natural. You can build it up to be like super shiny and glowy, but I think it's just like a really perfect, you can see right there, it's just so pretty. It just looks really nice and soft and glowy and it blends out super nice. I've never tried a highlighter by Dose of Colors before. Actually, I'm not quite sure if they even have highlighters, um, but absolutely love this. I would recommend getting this and the eyeshadow palette if you guys haven't picked anything up from the collection yet. I know they're going to be restocking or they have restocked, I'm not quite sure, but absolutely love this as well. This is the only highlighter I've been using since I got it. I think it's just super pretty and I'm obsessed with it. My next favorite product is this eyeliner by Marc Jacobs and this actually was the birthday gift that Sephora gave out last year I believe and I started using it and I am absolutely 
in love with this product. It's called the Highliner Gel Crayon in the color Blacker, and this is obviously the smaller sample size, but I really love it because it cranks up so you don't have to use a sharpener. It's like always ready to go, and it's so black, it just glides on so nicely, and I use this personally to tightline my upper waterline. It does an amazing job and it stays on like all day. It's been a struggle to find a good eyeliner that doesn't wear away on my inner waterline and this one does not budge. So this little guy has turned into one of my holy grail liners. I absolutely love it and I'll be picking up a full size version once I'm out of that one. The next product I have talked about on my channel before and if you watch my tutorials you've seen me use it then, but this is the Lights Camera Splashes Mascara by Tarte. I again had a sample size of this, fell in love and had to buy the full size version. I fell in love with it this summer. This is what the brush looks like. It does a really good job at separating out your lashes and really giving you nice volume and length. And this also is waterproof, so it doesn't budge, it doesn't move. And this is probably my favorite waterproof mascara at the moment. It's actually my favorite mascara at the moment. So I've been loving that and thought I would share with you as well. The next product I actually have gotten recently and have been using it the last couple weeks, and this is the birthday gift at Sephora for the month of September. I am a September baby, so I got my little birthday gift and I got this one by Tarte. And this is the blush called Party, and it's so pretty. It's just like the perfect, like, peachy, light, everyday blush. Like, I'm wearing it on my cheeks right now, and I just blended it back with my bronzer. It's really pretty. It's really natural. You can build it up if you want it a little more intense, but I think it's just a really good everyday blush. I've been wearing it every day since I got it, and I really enjoy it. So, even though I haven't had it long, I did want to mention it in my favorites because it's become one of my new favorites. And my last favorite product for this video is my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. I've raved about this before on my channel many times, but I've recently really fallen back in love with it. And I've gotten more into like bronzing more so than contouring. So I'll use this on my Sigma F10 brush, which is just this really nice fluffy powder brush. And I'll put it the same places that I contour, but it's more so just to bronze up and warm up my face. Gives you a little bit of like contouring definition, but it's not like a sharp chiseled out contour like I used to do. It's just a nice blend of color. And I don't know, I haven't done a really like chiseled contour for, gosh, a, quite a while now. And I've just been really loving bronzing my face with this. It blends out really nice. I really love the color. It's a nice warm. It's not too orangey or anything like that, but it's just like the perfect shade. Mine is in medium deep. I love this. It smells like chocolate. It's just a really great bronzer, and I've been loving it recently. So that is everything for my favorites video today. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to let me know in the comments what your favorites have been. I would really love to hear what you guys have been loving recently. Also, be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you did like it, as well as subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and until next time I will see you all in my next one. Bye guys!